Good day, folks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Comica VS09 microphone. This is a USB-C microphone and it works well with the USB-C 2018 iPad Pro. Let's just jump right in and take a look. If you are a regular to my channel, you know that I am a mobile content creator. I shoot all my YouTube videos on an iPhone and I edit all my videos on an iPad. I also do some work for clients. All the video editing is done on my iPad as well. Sometimes you need to connect a microphone to your iPad or to your iPhone to record voiceovers and different things like that. Over the years, I've always used Rode microphones and you can see here I have a couple different versions of the video mic me. I have the standard audio jack version and we all know that became obsolete pretty quickly with uh, Apple removing the audio jack. I then purchased the lightning version and it worked actually quite well until of course Apple removed the lightning port from the iPad Pro. Now I'm not complaining because I love having a USB-C port on the iPad Pro but this lightning version of the video mic me no longer works for me. It works on my iPhone still uh, because it still has a lightning port so I had to come up with another solution and I did some looking around and I opted to go with the Comica VS09. Now when I first ordered it I wasn't even sure if it was going to work because it's not really designed for something like the iPad Pro. It's designed for smartphones or any kind of smartphone that has a USB-C connector. I wasn't even sure if the iPad would fit in those rubber feet or if it would even recognize it. But I'm glad to say it did and it actually works quite well. And just to show you here when you purchase it you get a little leather case for it and it does come with a foam wind protector. So installing it is super easy it's just a matter of plugging in it just like that and it's ready to go. This microphone swivels 180 degrees to accommodate whatever angle you need. Now if you're new to connecting external microphones to your iPhone or iPad, once you plug it in there's nothing else you need to do. As soon as you plug it in the device will recognize it, disable the onboard microphone and start using the external one. So I'm just going to do a couple quick audio tests here just so you can hear the difference of using the built-in microphone on the iPad and using the Comica microphone. I'm just going to use the built-in voice memo on the iPad for this test. So for the first recording we're going to use the built-in microphone on the iPad. Hello, this is an audio test using the iPad and the built-in microphone. Again, this is an audio test using the built-in microphone on the iPad 2018. So now we're going to plug in the microphone. And uh, just to show you here quickly, you know it's connected when that little green light turns on. So now let's record a clip with the microphone and then I'll play them both back for you. This is an audio recording using the Comica microphone attached to the iPad Pro. Again, this is an audio test recording of the Comica microphone attached to the iPad Pro. Now I'm going to export these recordings so when I do play it back, you'll hear the uh, proper quality version. So let's uh, start with the built-in microphone. Hello, this is an audio test using the iPad and the built-in microphone. Again, this is an audio test using the built-in microphone on the iPad 2018. So not bad. That's standard uh, built-in microphone. It's kind of tinny, it's kind of echoey. So now let's play the audio sample with the microphone attached. This is an audio recording using the Comica microphone attached to the iPad Pro. Again, this is an audio test recording of the Comica microphone attached to the iPad Pro. So as you can see, there's quite a difference there. Um, there's not as much background noise. Uh, that's what these microphones are really good at. They help get rid of any kind of unwanted ambient noise. If you've got things like fans running, furnaces running, air conditioners, uh, anything like that, you can get a really loud hum in your audio. Having a good directional microphone kind of gets rid of all that and kind of focuses on where the audio is coming from. So yeah, definitely a nice little microphone. If you've been looking for a microphone to use with your iPad Pro 2018 with the USB-C port, I definitely recommend it. I've been pretty happy with it so far myself. Now it's not the most pro quality mic available on the market by any stretch of the imagination uh, but it does a really good job for the price and uh, sometimes that's important as well and for the kind of editing and the work that I do it does the job just fine so I'll include the links down below in the description of this video where you can go and check this uh, microphone out further if you so wish I hope you found this video informative give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one